guys, this is um, Silver Vegan here with my savory um, squash soup recipe. So here I've got a um, spaghetti squash and of course I've got a butternut squash and I will be adding um, a diced onion and I would also be adding some potatoes later on. So let's, oh, what you'll need is a nice butternut squash, the spaghetti squash, vegetable broth, onions, diced, and that's about it for right now with your, with uh, four medium potatoes. Now, this is the simplest way. I use a nine by 13 pan. You preheat your oven to 350 and this is the simplest way to do this to cook with um, squashes you can do this you can hear my doggies and there in the living room but this is the simplest way to make this um, soup um, gourds are really really hard and sometimes I have to get my husband's help to do this but uh but oh my gosh there we go it's kind of hard when you're in a wheelchair getting leverage but it can be done all i want to do is cut these in half just like so That's what you like to see. Now, some people like to put canned pumpkin in theirs. I personally do it sometimes, but not all the time. But there you go. Just get it out. Now, I just get an ordinary spoon and I dig out the innards. Now, I save the seeds. I am an avid seed saver. So I just pull out the seeds and the placenta as best I can. Don't worry if you leave some because you're going to be scraping it again later. But you want to get all this out. Just like so. Now there is no need in seasoning this because we're going to season it in the pot. And this is a no blender method or anything like that. It's going to be nice and hearty because it's it's actually turning fall here in Florida. So now we're actually it's getting a little bit cooler where we can stand a little bit of the fall. Um, foods and this one's one of my favorites so you notice that I didn't get all of it out that's fine get your little olive oil spray your 9 by 13 so it doesn't stick and you set it in your 9 by 13 and start cleaning out the other one the other half now these are very hard squashes um, typically, so um, the way I'm showing you how to do it saves time and it saves the nutrients. A lot of people like to cut them up and boil them or they want to cut them up and put them in the crock pot and you have to get the outer uh, rind off. This saves all that hard work. This is kind of like the lazy girl's um, recipe. As long as you get the placenta most of the way out, like I said, um, it's fine because you don't want it to brown or anything too much in the oven. And once it's ready, the, uh, this part, the rest of it will come out. Now that one's done. Now I'll rinse my hands off. And then I got my little 
bowl here for the placenta and seeds, which I will go through later. And I will dry them and plant them at the appropriate time. Now you can roast these just like roasting um, pumpkin seeds, if that's what you like, with a little bit of cinnamon and sugar. But that's not what I'm going to do today. You can wash your hands. It's important to keep your hands nice and clean. And now we're going to cut this in half. Now. I'm not doing all four, I've got some for later, and I'm gonna actually make that into a chutney, which I will show you that recipe um, in this series. But we're gonna cut our gourds, our squash, which they're gourds, in half here. And all the nice little vitamins that are in these are wonderful and it doesn't have to be perfectly down the middle or anything else all we're going to do is this is the first cook Ow! got me <laughs> be careful Love you. Love you. Love you. That's my son. He's getting ready to go to work. And finish putting it in half. And look how beautiful that is. That is absolutely beautiful. And now you take the placenta and the seeds out just like you did on the spaghetti squash, and we just transfer it to our bowl. Um, just like so. Just dig it out, just make sure all the seeds are out, and most of the placenta, like I said, it is in a dire, of a dire port, uh, need to get it all out, the placenta, because we can get that out after the first cooking. Honestly, this is the worst part of the whole thing is cutting it and getting this out. Once you get this out, um, you're good to go. Rinse my hands off and getting on the other part and digging it out. As you can see, it's very simple. And now we're putting it in our pan, our nine by 13. Um, for a family our size, um, only um, one butternut and one spaghetti squash is needed for this recipe. Now, if you have a bigger family or you want to entertain, um, all you have to do is just cut more up and just double the recipe. Now, I'm not sponsored, but Swanson is the vegetable broth that I like personally um, has a great flavor to it and you don't have to um, add a lot of seasoning because they've, they've put everything in there basically so, and then I just clean up my little mess if you clean as you go no big um, wash you have to make later and that's all the innards and stuff like that. I will take care of this later. And I will be back after this cooks in the oven for um, 35 to 45 minutes. When it, the fork, when you can put a fork in very easily, um, like a baked potato, then you know it's done. ready to go into the oven okay I am back um, it's not been quite 45 minutes but I went ahead 
and cut up one medium onion. It doesn't need to be perfect, just like that. And I started carrots boiling to mash in because I didn't have any sweet potatoes. Um, and um, if I didn't tell you earlier, I cook vegan for myself and then I, um, my family is non-vegan. So in the oven I pricked, I washed and pricked four of the potatoes and my husband put the bacon in because that goes into theirs. Um, and this is the bacon I use for myself. Like, I'm not sponsored, but this is really, really good. Um, I cook it, and then I cut it up, and I'll, I'll show you that later, how that's done. But um, I just wanted to show you the, process, the, the middle process of waiting. You see how pretty the gourds are, the squash in there? And how lovely of a color? That's what we're looking for all the way through. And I will be back once it is pulled out of the oven. All right, now. Okay, now I put the onions in with the carrots, as you can see. And now it's time to add the vegetable broth. Um, so I'm gonna open this. I should have opened it earlier. I'm just gonna show you. Um, how we do it. Very easy. Doesn't those onions smell good, Dad? My uh, lovely assistant is my husband today, and he is helping record. Now, we always recycle everything, so you just pour your vegetable stock right into your carrots and onions because once this is good and soft we're going to mash it along with the the uh, potatoes and the gourds and we'll be back for that process in just a few minutes so it has been about 30 minutes and the potatoes are now added to the the broth Oh, um, half a cup of water and the carrots to finish cooking just like so to get smashed now I smash with the um, peelings on because there's a lot of vitamins and you don't want to waste your vitamins and this should boil well like this for another 15 minutes while the gourds in the oven are finishing up getting soft and I'll give you a look to see if I can see how pretty they are and how translucent the outer um, brine is. That's what we're going for. They need to get cooked just a little bit longer and they will be finally done. Now my husband was so kind to um, render his fat and bacon for my son and his supper into this pot because his pot and my pot are totally different. We keep it separate but this is how vegans and non-vegans can live and cook together and enjoy dinner together with um, no problem all right I'll be back in about 15 minutes to go over the next steps okay so the gourds are done and we know this because I can take a knife and look how easy that just slips through. No pressure whatsoever. That is perfect. That color is gorgeous. We're going to be scraping the rest of this placenta out and seeds here in just a minute. And it'll come out real, real easy. Look at this, look at this wash. Look how beautiful it is. See, it goes right down. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be scraping all of this out and adding it to this liquid here. And once I'm done with that, I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So I let it cool just a little bit. And this is how easy it is for you to take the meat 
out of each squash and you just add it to your boiling pot there see and it cuts down and then the placenta I just put it over here in this bowl and honestly that is a very good treat for my dogs they absolutely love it but you see how easy it is to take this apart you take it apart and then we just add it like so and remember this is going to be mashed all together so it's no big deal and just make sure that that dark orange is not in or any of the rind and that's the rind any other way you lose all of that meat but uh, doing this you only use lose that much which is considered waste and we do not want to waste so once I am done with all of this I'll be back and I will show you the last little steps in making this soup <laughs> and we're back so this is the fun part this is where you get to mash and incorporate all of your potatoes and carrots and gourds into this and then you start adding your seasonings which I put in minced garlic I'm gonna put two teaspoons in because our family absolutely loves garlic And we also like jalapeno. I'm gonna put this in here for right now. And I just put a Phrygian jalapeno. That's plenty. It's not for heat, it's for the flavor. And adobo. This is an all purpose um, seasoning, but this is our, one of our family staples. And I put about a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half. You're probably saying, why aren't you measuring? Because I've, I've used it so much, I, I can eye it. And the last thing that I use is cilantro. Um, cilantro has a very nice peppery kind of taste to it. And I usually only put about a teaspoon in and then that is all what we put in here for the seasonings um, then I give it time to cook and then I'm going to separate this into the two pots I'm going to take um, some out of here and put it in the non-vegan pot and then I'll add the cream so, and this is all you do this is the fun but the thing is this is better than doing the blender or the vitamix or anything else because it's actually coming out a lot more hearty as you can see and that's what you want is a hearty um, soup so I'm gonna have my husband help me divide this and I'll be right back. has um, divided it into the two pots I'm going to use the almond milk and I'm going to put about a half of cup, two, three, one, two, three, into each one. This creams it out a, a, a lot. Now, um, I will not use the same utensils in each pot, but we will stir and we will keep this on. And so I don't contaminate mine. I'll leave that one in there and I'm going to use the masher. And you see that nice rich color? This is the color you want. Right there. You want that color. You want it chunky. Now, this is 100% vegan. Now, what I am going to add to mine and still cook it is I have these bacon strips. Um, I just open them up. I don't pre-cook them because I, I personally don't like it like that. But I open them up. 
I open them up and I get about five pieces and I just tear them in just like this and it cooks in just quite nicely you just want to get it incorporated in very well now at this point and everything else I do not add any more seasonings or anything else to them um, I leave it up to whoever's eating it if they want to put salt pepper any more um, garlic or onion or adobo or anything else in this is just something that um, goes for the person's preference some people actually like a little bit more cream in theirs um, I find this is what I like and it's hearty and as you can see it <laughs> that was pretty, Mm, it's good, too. Mm, that's really good. Mm, I did good. <laughs> and this is my husband's and my son's. And you see the color of it. Now, theirs looks a little bit more greasy because they like incorporating the, the fat of their bacon in because it, they say it's a lot more flavorful. So, that's how they, they eat it. So, I'm going to get a spoon. No need into because this is my pot. I'm the only one that eats out of it. And I am going to taste my creation. Oh, I'm sorry. It was hot. Those are the fortunes of war. Ooh. Are you dead sure That's really good. Mm. Oh, I can eat a whole pot of this. So, this is my um, um, gourd squash soup. You can use any variations of vegetables. This is my favorite. This is my family's favorite. And if you wouldn't mind, um, hit the like button hit the share button and hit the bell so we can get some notifications for when I upload. I'm going to upload on every Monday. We're going to have a new video and a new recipe. My next video is going to be spiced apples with um, vegan topping, like whipped topping. So bye for now. Hope you enjoy.